Hello there. The weekend is just around the corner and it could be cooler but quieter. More details on that in just a moment. But for Friday, we've still got some showers around and there'll be a real nuisance first thing in the morning across Wales and southwest England, driven along by some strong to gale force gusts of winds on exposed coasts. The good news is that'll push those showers through at quite a pace moving south of the M4 corridor during the early morning and probably clearing the Kent coast before lunchtime. Behind it, quite a clearance, some sunny spells coming through. The wind's still coming from a northerly direction. That'll drive in a few showers across exposed coasts of Scotland, Northern Ireland and maybe running down through the Irish Sea. But temperatures generally a little bit more subdued than of late. We're looking at 7 to 12 degrees as the overall high. Now, into the start of the weekend, it looks likely that Saturday will be mostly fine and dry. There'll be some sunshine around. There will be some rain on Sunday, but into the west, and it will take its time. Frost and fog could be an issue too. So with this little ridge of high pressure building on Saturday, hence the reason the quiet start. The wind direction is still coming from the north, a cooler source. So temperatures are going to be struggling a little, but there will be plenty of sunshine. Early morning fog will lift, sunshine come through and highs again peaking between 6 and 11 Celsius generally across the country. Now, as we move out of Saturday into Sunday, that frontal system starts to push in from the Atlantic. It's going to take its time in doing so, but it will throw in a little bit more moisture into the atmosphere. So there's a greater chance of some more dense fog, which could linger. So early on Sunday morning, if you're heading out for Remembrance survey Services, it's certainly worth bearing in mind that it could be chilly and it could be pretty murky. Widespread fog, some of that pretty stubborn to clear away. And if that does happen, the temperatures really will be impacted. Impacted. There will be some rain by the end of the afternoon out to the west as well. Highs of 6 to 11 degrees once again. Now, as we move into Monday and Tuesday, we're back to more of a southwesterly wind and more frontal systems pushing in from the Atlantic, which means it will get that little bit milder once again. But unfortunately, there's going to be showers or longer spells of rain returning for most of us. That's it. Have a great weekend.